extremely scared of heights. I am too. So today, what myself and my friend Titus decided to do is we would catch one of the local buses, actually we had to catch two buses, to make it to a town which is a bit too far to walk to. And we thought about biking there, but the problem with that is that to hike a waterfall that we're going to hike later, we would have to leave our bike somewhere and then you risk the chance of them getting stolen or something. So we decided to take the bus. A lot of the times we just, like I said, hang out, stay in the area, but we figured it'd be fun to go to one of the next towns over and explore around there a bit. So we were super excited, like, this is so cool, we're catching the bus to go to the next town over, we never do this. And well, when we were younger, we couldn't obviously really like just take the bus on our own. But now that I guess we're a bit older, um, we can do that a bit more often and go check out other towns and areas. Quite loud, so you probably can't hear me very well, but we are here at the waterfalls. We're coming into the rainy season, so there's a lot more water in the river, and we decided we got a pretty early start on the day. So when we got there, there was a guy selling coconuts, and he gave us, um, we bought a coconut from him, and then he told us that there's hardly any, no one has arrived yet, so we're like, perfect. That is insane. That's the biggest It's coming down the tree. Titus, what did you say these are? Amapaches? Amapaches. Wow, these guys are so cool looking. We're just over here filming some shots for the music vid, and all of a sudden I see these little animals jumping out of this tree, and I'm like, whoa, what is that? First I thought it was a monkey, and I realized they weren't monkeys. We, we ran over. The camera, we ran over to the tree. We ran over trying to film them. There must have been like 10, 15 of them. There may have been more that we didn't see, and now we're just climbing out of this tree. So, if you haven't noticed, it is super muddy, so it's really easy to slip. Gotta be super duper. So, there's actually so much mist coming off of the waterfall that we're gonna, we can't hang out right in front of it because or else all of our stuff will just get totally soaked by the mist. There was so much force coming, so much water coming down that we, we, we climbed behind it. Um, it's, it's because this particular waterfall, you can do that. But there was so much force coming down that all the little droplets of water were flying upwards behind the waterfall. And that was one of the coolest experiences I feel I've ever had because I felt like I was in a movie. So I, I normally don't show slow-mos of me spitting, but for this, this is a, uh, I, yeah, we'll do it. You'll see that when I spit, the spit flies upwards into the in, uh, into the air, and that's because all the air is flying upwards behind the waterfall. So if you spit or water droplets fall, they go shooting up. It was so unreal. We 
found some indigenous markings from a tribe of ancient tourists. You see, because a tool has passed on his minimalism to me, I don't bring big backpacks. So as to that, I must strap it onto my bag. <laughs> Whoa, look at this. This root has grown around this rock. This is perfect slot for that rock, for the stone. I'm not really sure how high it would be, but it is... I'm really not good with like just guesstimating heights and stuff, but I would say it's... Mm, I don't think I'm exaggerating. I'm pretty sure it's over 50 feet, but it, it, let's just say it's quite high. And then I just like kept like hesitating and then I was like, I'm just gonna do it. Today's shout out goes to De King, who left a comment on my last video. And his comment was that about how zip ties and duct tape are a poor man's repair kit. And while I agree with that, zip ties and duct tape are very affordable, so they it's easy for everyone to have them and, and they work really good for like Jimmy Rig repairing stuff, and they can repair a lot of different things. Although those are two cheap things they could actually be more useful in an emergency or survival situation than something much more expensive. Let's say, would you rather have a, maybe, a, a nice necklace that was maybe, it wasn't too cheap, or would you rather have duct tape, some cordage, and the zip ties, which were much cheaper in an emergency? Well, I would probably rather have the necklace because, you know, when you're trying to survive, looks are just as important as staying survive. Just kidding guys, obviously. Obviously I'm joking. Today's positive quote is that by tearing down someone else's buildings, you're not making yours any higher. And you could visualize this as, let's say there's a bunch of buildings, you have your building, and maybe yours is like a little bit shorter than the other one, so you tear down the other one, and then you're like, yeah, I'm the tall, I have the tallest building. But in reality, your building isn't any higher. It's the same height. But if you were to help that person maybe build their building a little bit higher, then they might help you build yours. So it could end up being a win-win and this would translate into like real life. Don't actually go around tearing down people's buildings to see if this is true or not, of course. But how if you help someone else out by maybe trying to get closer to reaching their goals or then they could help you also get closer to your goals and it ends up being a win-win. If you are trying to like be like, no, you can't do that, then they probably won't be like, yeah, well, you you definitely can do um, re do that, and then you're like, no, that you can't, you you could never do that, never try that. They're most likely not going to be like, well, yeah, you could definitely do that. So you know, it's you. Anyways, anyways, remember to keep always doing awesome stuff, and I'll see you in the next one.